Hi, and welcome back. In this video on predicting treatment using logistic regression, we are going to look at the steps in logistic regression, the data set for the problem that we are going to use, and the code that we are going to use to solve the problem. The first few steps in logistic regression is pretty much the same as linear regression. The first step is preparing the data, then preparing the test data, deciding what features to use, deciding the hypothesis and the cost function. Here, the hypothesis has an additional function applied to it, the sigmoid function. And the cost function is what we saw in the previous video. Just like linear regression, the minimization algorithm that we are going to use is gradient descent. Then we iterate over the data set while training the model and then we finally make the predictions. The data set that we are going to use for this video is a 2014 survey that measures attitude towards mental health and frequency of mental health disorders in a tech workplace. The target variable is treatment. Has the person sought treatment for a mental health condition or not? The features that we are going to use is whether the person works remotely or not at least 50% of the time. Does the person have any history of mental health problems in his or her family? And what is the gender of that person? We are considering binary for ease of computation. Now let's look at the code on how to solve this problem using logistic regression. For this, I have opened my folder section 2 underscore 5 where I have two files index.html and index.js. Inside index.html, I have two tags, html and body. Inside the body tag, I have the div tag with the header predicting treatment using logistic regression. And then we are sourcing the index.js file. Now let's go to the index.js file. We first import the ml matrix library. Next, we create a class called logistic regression two classes. Since it is a binary classification problem with only 0 and 1, then we create a constructor and pass it different options of number of steps, the learning rate, and the initial weights. We are also passing default values for these variables. For number of steps is 500,000. The learning rate is this, and we are checking if we have any weights or not. Next, we create the train function. Inside the train function, we pass two variables, features and target. The feature is the feature matrix and the target is the target variable. We first initialize the weights with zero values. Next, we repeat the steps for the number of specified steps and this is what we do under each step. First, we calculate the hypothesis where we do a matrix multiplication of the features and the weights and then we apply the sigmoid function on top of it. To update the weight, we first calculate the output error signal, which is nothing but the difference between the predictions and the target variable. Next, to update the weights, we calculate the gradient. The gradient is calculated by taking the features matrix and multiplying it with the output signal after transposing it. Then we add this gradient to the weights so that the weights are updated. We do this after multiplying the gradient with the learning rate. And next, we update the weights for the entire code. Over here, we are creating another function called test codes where we take the features, the predictions and apply sigmoid on top of it to return those predictions. We create another function called predict which again takes my features and returns the predictions. Then finally, we have another function to JSON which returns my number of steps, the learning rate and the weights. We are also creating the sigmoid function which is the sigmoid equation applied to each of the scores. The result that we are returning is basically 1 by 1 plus e to the power negative score. Here we take the training sets x and y which has different values and we also create a new matrix for x and a column vector for y. We do the same for test sets. Next, we initialize a variable log reg with logistic regression to classes and call the train method after passing it x and y. We then predict the final results and store it in final results 
For this, we use the predict function and pass x text. To calculate the accuracy of the model, we iterate over the final results and see at how many points the final results were the same as y test. And we finally output this result over the console. Now let's see what our output looks like. For this, we have to do npm install ml matrix. After this is done, we can call parcel index.html which starts a server. A quick note, for this folder I had already done an npm in it as well as created two files index.html and index.js which we saw in Visual Studio code. Now let's see the output. Now let's look at the output. Here we go to more tools, developer tools and then go to the console where it shows 60 which is the accuracy of our model. In this video we saw how to use logistic regression to solve our problems. In the next couple of videos we will see how to improve our model and what are the ways we can measure the performance in the section on improving models. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.